Hi guys and welcome to Phantom JS tutorial number two. In this video we're going to look at taking a screen capture with Phantom JS. So before we start we have to look at these two lines here. These two lines will be included on pretty much every single Phantom JS script that you want to run. The first one is your web page module. This will import the web page module and set it to this variable web page. And from this web page object we can create an instance of the web page object and set it to page, which is what we're doing here. We're taking the web page and we're creating a new page. So now that you have this object page, it has numerous methods and properties. Here I have printed out a few of the properties that are within this uh, object, such as object name, which will be the web page, uh, page title, which would be Google, and uh, page URL, which would be google.com. This page.open is a method inside this page object and what it requires is you pass it the URL that you want to open and then this function which is called once the page is open. So if the page successfully loads this status will be success and then we screen capture the page. If it fails then it won't be able to capture the page because the page never loaded. So here I have five lines which are basically the same there's only changing uh, the quality. So this page.render is another method inside of the page object. And what, it, what you pass it is the file name that you're going to be outputting. And then you also pass it the format and then the quality. Note that this format value doesn't really mean anything as the render function always uses the extension on the file name that you pass it to set the format. So if I were to go like this, the file name would be screen capture nothing and it would just be a text file. So you have to have this extension. I'll show you here. So renders the web page to an image buffer and saves it as a specified file name. Currently the output format is automatically set based on the file extension. So that means that it takes the file extension that you set in the file name and sets it accordingly. The supported formats are PDF, PNG, JPEG, BMP, PPM, and GIF. This quality determines the quality of the image that's uh, being produced or the, or the file being produced. If you're taking a screen capture of an image, a zero is going to leave you with a very blurry picture, whereas 100 will set it to the max uh, quality the picture can be. So now that we've looked at this code, let's let's run it and see what we get. So we'll get going over to terminal, let's change directory and go into our downloads. And then phantom js. And now we have our page capture file right there. So let's go phantom js page capture dot js and if we run that there we go so we can see that this these first three lines are the properties of this page object that we printed out the first is web page then google and then google.com so these correspond to the object name object title and object url and as you can see the status was success so it printed out this, that means it printed out our five images. So if we go into the folder, we can see our five images. So this one, note that is it has the JPEG format, which is what we set it to, and the file size is eight kilobytes. So it's pretty small. And if we open it up, it's really bad looking. This is the zero, zero quality. If we open this one, number two, you can see it's a little bit better, the size of the file is a little bit larger, but still not that great. And you can go all the way up to the 5, which is much larger than the original, or than the screen capture 1, but it, and the image is a lot nicer quality. So that's how you capture an image of a web page using uh, PhantomJS. It's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is have the URL, and then you can uh, that allow you to navigate to the web page and then you can just use this uh, page.render uh, function. 
that's it for this video. If you liked it, please uh, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.